Behind me is Good Time Charlie's. And Good Time Charlie's is a place where I'll eat at later on today. This is where the grocery store was that the Bowen camps owned where all the trouble started. Uh, not that Ken Rex McElroy wasn't a troublemaking person, uh, but this is the linchpin of the store. He'd already shot one guy and somehow weaseled his way out of it. But uh, Mr. Mr. Bowen Camp, who was 70 years old, was uh, uh, here and um, the McElroys got into it with some of the women. So um, that happened and then he started stalking them at their home. And um, so after that happened, he went around back and shot uh, Bo Bowen Camp. And Mr. Bowen Camp, I'll, we'll just walk around there. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Mr. Bowen Camp was uh, around the back here. This, was, of course, is a grocery store. And Mr. Bowen Camp was sitting out on the uh, on the back ledge. And so he was sitting right there right right there let me give you a better shot of it so mr bowen camp was sitting right there and um the so uh ken rex mcelroy pulled up in the alley challenged to ask him if he wanted to fight he said well no i don't want to fight man 71 years old so ken rex mcelroy pulled his rifle out to shoot him. Um, Bo Bowen Camp saw he was gonna get shot, took to the floor and only got shot in the neck. So he was somehow able to survive what happened. Now, let's go back around. Uh, Mr. Bowen Camp, because he survived, became a witness against McElroy and the young prosecutor decided to take the case and put him on trial. And unlike all the other trials that McElroy was in, he got a conviction. Unfortunately, it was a mitigated conviction. It was only for two years, but it was for felony assault. Well, on July 10th, 1981, they were, uh, they were supposed to have a bond revocation hearing. They let him out on bond, which it never should have done. That, that cast is doom right there. But they're supposed to have a bond revocation hearing and, and his lawyer was able to finagle a 10 day extension. Well, then the, uh, the uh, town had a gathering and the gathering was right here. I'm gonna show you where that was. As I'm walking across the street. Behind me is where the Legion Hall was. It was right behind me. It's been torn down. If I go around here, all this has been torn down. There was a filling station here. So let's walk this way. I can't do this on Facebook Live because the internet service, uh, the data service just isn't that good here. So there was a filling station right here. There is still the remnants of a filling station right there. So what happened when they were at the Legion Hall, they heard that Ken Rex was down at the uh, D&G bar. All right, so let's walk to the D&G bar, remember. The grocery store, let me get over here in the shadow where you can, I can see what I'm showing you. Remember the grocery store is right there. The bank was right here. So they, all the people that were in the Legion Hall and the point of their gathering was trying to form a somewhat of a, of a uh, neighborhood watch to, to, uh, 
protect the four people that had signed affidavits that had seen Mr. McElroy with a gun and, the, and, and a bayonet unshivved at the end of it. And he had been showing off this gun and this bayonet in this bar. This is the building that housed the D&G Tavern, if you can see it, the D&G Bar. I'm trying to stay in the shadow here. So, this is the D&G Bar. Let me step out here so you can see it better. So they were going to have a. Uh, they were going to. They had a gathering, and probably 40 people came over here. Not all the people in that hall came over here. Some of them went to the two filling stations. Some of them stayed out on the street. So they found out that Ken Rex was here, and I think the purpose of what they wanted to do was to show him that they weren't afraid of him anymore. The owner of the bar, or one of the owners, was a guy named Del Clement. Del Clement was in here, and he was somewhat of a loudmouth uh, guy who wore a, he wasn't tall in stature, so he wore a, a hat to make him look tall and he, he was a drunk and a loud mouth and he'd been drinking here all morning and here's what I think happened as Ken Rex McElroy left this bar with his wife Trina they were drinking in the bar they got a six pack and a pack of camels to leave he was unarmed for once and I think Dale Clement as everybody was going out the front door I think he went out the back door. I do not